so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Hi, and I'm Mika, and we are at Adventure City in Anaheim, California. Yeah, <laughs> and at this place, they have a lot of fun rides. Yes, and I love going on rides. <laughs> me too. Have you ever been on a ride before? For. Oh, oh, I hope they have a carousel. <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, with all those horses. Yeah, what about you? Uh, maybe a roller coaster. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, no. Whoa, cool, a, a train. train. Wow. 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 This looks like this could be our very first ride. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, all right. Here, Here you go. are, Blippi. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. I like this train. It's the color red. Yeah, and I like this big green stripe that goes across. Oh, yeah, and the two yellow stripes. Mm -hmm, they're <laughs> nice. And what do we say? All the board! <laughs> Whoa, wow, this is so cool. Yeah. Choo choo! <laughs> what a fun way to see the park. The 
just stopped. That means we can go now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ready to ride the carousel? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Mm, let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Cool. There's so many different colors to choose from. Yeah. This I one. really like this one. Really? I like this purple and this blue here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yellow and green. Yeah. <laughs> I love all of these colors so much. Yeah. And I love horses. You do? Do yeah. you know what sound a horse makes? I do, I okay, do. Show them. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <was> very good. <laughs> Nay. Nay. <laughs> okay, so is this the one that you want to ride? I think so. Okay, <laughs> and let's see. Maybe I'll ride this one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This horse is black. Yeah. And look at the bright green right there on the saddle. Yeah. Oh, and it even has gold and red. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a very cool looking horse, but a great choice. <laughs> Thanks. Well, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> First, we have to buckle up for safety. That's right. All right. All right, <laughs> buckle in. Me too. All right. <laughs> Giddy up, horsey. All right, I'll race ya. All right. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> Woohoo! Horses in the countryside. Oh, I love it. Wind blowing through our hair, That's fresh right. air. We have fun. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah! Look yeah. at that! Woohoo! Giddy up, horsey! Whoa! I think the ride's over, Mika. Yeah, I think so too. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Well, since it's over, do you want to see what other rides they have? Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, see you later. Have a good day. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, check this out. Wow, what's over here? Wow, a lot of mist. Wow, mist? Yeah. Mist, that's just really teeny, teeny, tiny particles of water. Well, well, what do we do? You want to go inside? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here we go. Whoa. Should we ride? Huh. Hey, how about the blue cart? Yeah, it's one of my two favorite colors. You knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> He's just making sure everything is nice and safe. And he made sure this is tight. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Wow, we were going so fast. <laughs> Woohoo! I wonder what Mika is up to. <laughs> for the chickens inside the coop. Let's see. It says it's 25 cents and I have a quarter. <laughs> All right, let's see. Whoa, look. It brought out some food for the chickens. All right, chickens, are you hungry? Here you go. Here's a yummy snack for you. <laughs> That chicken looks really hungry. Eat up. Snack time. It looks like it's some dried corn. Nice and healthy. Oh, you want a little bit more? Here you go. Wow. There's so many different kinds of chickens in here. Like a white one. That one looks black and has some orange feathers in there. Whoa! Nice to meet you, chickens. What other animal friends are here? Hmm. Let's go look. Bye, chickens. Nice meeting you. Let's see if there are more animals here. Come on. Whoa, goats. Hi, goats. I'm Mika. Oh, look. There's some snacks for the goat. Oh, here you go. Ooh, this goat's really hungry. <laughs> oh, look, it's an ice cream cone. I didn't know goats like ice cream cones. <laughs> Let's go inside and hang out with them. Come on. It says, enter. I guess we can. Oh, take this little brush with us. Hi, goats. Hi. Who wants a nice brush? Come on over. Come on. <laughs> Come on over. Whoop. Hmm. Maybe they don't want to get brushed. Sometimes I don't like to get my hair brushed either. <laughs> Let's see. Aw, it's so nice. It's so soft. It's really good to take care of animals. See how nice its hair looks? Oh, hi. Oh, you want some love too? I'll brush you so you look nice and clean. Aw, this is so cool. We can ride rides and hang out with animals. This place is amazing. I wonder if Blippi went on the big roller coaster. Let's find out. <laughs> Bye, goats. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mika. Hey, Blippi. Oh, how was your time? Oh, it was really fun. I got to see super cute goats. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah. I got to ride the freeway coaster. Whoa, did you like it? Yeah, it was really intense. Oh, I <laughs> bet that you liked it. Oh, thanks, Mika. Well, shall we hop back on the train? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, there it is. Cool. <laughs>
Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome, Mika. Whoa, that was such a fun train ride. Yeah, we had a great day riding so many cool rides. Yeah, we did. Did you like all these rides? Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy! <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! Mika. <laughs> yeah! Alright, see you again! See you next time! Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey! It's me, Mika, and look where I'm at! I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wow, two more giant crowns, green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course but we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach. That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice. Okay, can you guess what I am? Roar! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roar! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. 
You're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you tread it like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, it feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it so go. hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our lesson it. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're going to do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! Oh, that was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! No, no, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, you've done some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I now. Think you're ready. Okay. Okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoop. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. Now what? You're gonna tuck your chin, 
You're gonna turn your hand okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa! <laughs> nice, you went upside down! I did. I did the flip around the bar too! <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline! All right, let's do it! All right, come on! Whoa! <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline! Yeah, we're gonna jump on it! Okay! <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Woo. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump. 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Oh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right. First things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do a Kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balance. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, 
everyone! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo! Look at these blocks! They're so fun! And light! They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, Welcome! <laughs> That's so nice! I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi! I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands in order to go inside the park. Ooh, I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I Mine want this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. What brings you in today? Oh, I really want to learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow. Okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Trampolines! And this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One! <laughs> two! Three! Four! Five! Wow, five trampolines! Huh, I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Hmm. Quincy! I don't think anyone's in here, except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are, in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. <gasps> Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere. Huh. Whoa. I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be at a trampoline park? Hey. There's a basketball hoop! <laughs> and another trampoline! I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it! Okay, let's see. On three. 
One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew, you don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails and cats, meow. Meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance and they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, more trampolines. Look how many are in here. Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? You too. I'm having so much fun here. I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard right. Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. You know, then we're going to lean to the left. And then we're going to lean it to the right. Okay. Uh, and you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. <laughs> all right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump to a spin. Jump a twist. Okay, ready? Whoa, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I got what else one can we you. do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just the as a steps? reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. Become the ball. <laughs> Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Whoa, that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? 
Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're gonna get a whole <laughs> lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, the next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown-up. Oh, yeah. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. <laughs> ah, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, he's gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. me, Mika, and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California, and I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> me too! Let's go inside and find out. Come on! Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy, and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's one it. of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? 
But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Whoa, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Woo! I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. We'll get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! <laughs> oh! Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course 
So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah, how about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> Or like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, try your other foot. All right, the other one. Whoa, okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya. We get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. 
Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <sighs> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool! Let's do it again. Whoa! <laughs> Look how many bubbles! Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right! There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello! All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm going to do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second, I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa. You have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. 
Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You <gasps> wanna try to catch one yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All right. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so, the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it a was, little way. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it, and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay. I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it. You caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it. But I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes, do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. All right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something <laughs> besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Oh, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. So they get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and then mm -hmm. at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, Ooh bubble hug. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right. I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble art. 
much. It's like a rainbow. All right, I'm gonna make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, do you wanna try? Yeah, thanks. Oh. oh, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, get some solution on there and. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, it's so pretty! That was awesome. Great job! Thank you! And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem! I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun! All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa! She knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! raining bubbles on me. <laughs>
Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> I'm awesome. already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're gonna do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we gotta go into our straddle. We're gonna sit on the ground. We're going to our straddle. We're okay. gonna spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we're roll our dough. Shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 pat all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. So I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh, there. Ooh, mm -hmm. that sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza in there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Shh, shh. Take out the pizza. Shh. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 and count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also, it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, well, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And step out with your left, one. Step together, two. And then repeat Step, that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, 
So after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, Yeah. Hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, oh, big hug! There you go, good job. Nice. You think we can do it a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three. Four, five, six, six seven, eight. Yes, oh, good so job. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh, put our boost on it, yes. we're gonna do a crisscross. You criss ready? Crisscross, what's that? Okay, so it's pretty pretty simple, okay? So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like your chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right, over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo, and we're gonna cross, shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo, shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right, ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, shoo, shoo. and switch. Shoo. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Shoo. Yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay, you see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it in. Boop, boop. One more time. Out, boop. Bring it in. Boop. Out, boop. Out. Bring it in. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And you go out. Out. And bring it. In. And you go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right, it's gonna be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Top rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Crisscross. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, 
Can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely, that's the point of dance, absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited, I can't wait. Okay, All right. let's do let's it. Let's do it, let's okay. do it. You lead the way. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, hello. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Come on. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. What are you doing with me? Awesome, let's see how we can get started. <gasps> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi Mika, I'm Trudy and welcome to Oda Kids New Learning Playground. Hi Trudy, nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What? That sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? <laughs> cool. So how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Check it out. We're at the science lab. For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go. Whoa. Mind gym. Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> See all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Oh, looks like a balloon and a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, <laughs> this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. 
We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut, but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay, good job. We have our first item. Check it out. A word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up. So it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one. <laughs> look, P-E-A-R, pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safety. Safety. Like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. <gasps> Do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors. The color yellow. <laughs> <gasps> we did it! We found safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down, four to go. Safety goggles and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. <gasps> oh, whoa, it's like a grocery store or a market in here. <gasps> Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool. It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice. These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables, they have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa! This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Oh, don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Let's see if there's anything in here. We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make bread. That's right. Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep looking. Okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. <gasps> Come over here. <gasps> oh, look at these big blocks. Huh, let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> put this on it and this. Or it could be a throne. Queen Mika. <laughs> wow. I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm. Maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color 
green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. <laughs> Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that's a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet and swing, 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 swing. <laughs> but you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner and it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left foot yellow, see? Left foot yellow. Hmm. Left foot yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa, you have to try not to fall down. <gasps> Mine might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hmm. Come over here. <gasps> Whoa, do you know what this is? It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right, let's, oh, they go in these copies over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Hi! <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Look what I found! Dish soap. We definitely need this for our experiment. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right. I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. It says A-R-T, art. <laughs> This is an art space. <gasps> cool, look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm gonna choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's see. What should I draw? Ooh, I know. See if you can guess. It's a science flask. You can use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> it's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. <laughs> oh, and it's my two favorite colors, purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bee, I like your style, purple and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. 
Hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. <laughs> Measuring cups. That's the last thing we need for our science experiment. We found everything. Let's head into the science lab. Come on. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Mika. Welcome back. Thank you. I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment. Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah. I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika. You are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? There you go. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, an official lab coat. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone. Safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. But remember, it's not really toothpaste, so please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay. A squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's gonna look yellow. Okay. All right, next we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up and get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. Ooh. There we go, one teaspoon. Add it to the water and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together. Okay. And then we're gonna add it to the glass and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. Going to the top. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa, did you see some of the colors? Wow, <laughs> it really looks like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa, <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide and there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today, all for the love of science. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style. <laughs> Let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> thanks for learning with me. See you soon. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. 
I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi Mika, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Playdate. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I wanna add some things to my outfit. Great, so the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great, so let's get started. Follow right, me. come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? Oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so we should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea. Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so First, I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So, what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So, let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here? around my neck there, some yellow, and I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, 
What else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. Little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay. That. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there. Blue and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome. And oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika! Woo! Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And, hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. Hmm, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Ooh, it's kinda hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun and I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, the eyes and nose and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right. Let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. 
Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter N. That's great. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about the materials that we oh. will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that looks <laughs> kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm, there are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're gonna cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. From <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You wanna cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're gonna make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're gonna call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine, I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes, it's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right, nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. That way, the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. No worries. <laughs> I have it ready for you right here. Wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look. It's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So cute. Okay. So hold both the needle and the thread. And I'm gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole. And then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it! My first stitch! <laughs> Okay, and then go back through? Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Hi. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. I okay. can help you. <gasps> thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. <gasps> I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay, I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. 
for my jam pack. Ooh, nice! <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. Right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. all the way to space, and it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Oh, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live
leave on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station and the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Oh, I think I'm gonna sit down. Whoa, okay, look at me, I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, fin so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars. Whoa. Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa. There's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Ooh. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the space shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you could make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says, United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle? Right there? That is the external tank 
And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the space shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M E E. K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, paint place. <gasps> Come on. Wow, there are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. Hey, I'm Mika. What's your name? I'm Mika. I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi, Deirdre. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place. I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right, thanks. See you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle and there's a lot of little circles around it. You want to count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. 
This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. <laughs> I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple. Oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there and some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there, I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller, that can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh, <laughs> and white. There we go, check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere, I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so, I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could 
stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> so, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see, this will brighten it up. Cause it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. 
add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush. Like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there and then Let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. <gasps> and I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. <laughs> Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> What a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look where we're at. The Sandy Shack. <laughs> yeah. It's a really big sandbox, and you and I get to go inside. <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two. <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side, and we can go inside. Don't forget your bucket. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's so cool in here. It's really sandy. There's so much sand here. And it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up. Whoa and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? 
Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? He's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> yeah, this animal is a crab. <laughs> He's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh, yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun! <laughs> yeah! But look at this! There's another animal! Whoa! This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa! And look how big his shell is! Whoa! It's bigger than my head! <laughs> Whoa! This is so much fun playing in the sand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Ooh. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. And now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, they give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore, come on! There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this over here. There are so many cubes. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many different colors on these cubes. Look. We have the color white and the color red and the color purple, and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute, if I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here. There's like a little diorama playset, and there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep, yeah. One, two. Do you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge. Cause they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs and they're so cute and tiny. Ooh. <laughs> They're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go 
Mm, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath, because it's really warm out. <laughs> ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa, and look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about two apples plus three apples? Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, two plus three apples is five apples. Whoa. Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Whoa, <laughs> they sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums, <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa, look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So first, we got some onions, so let's see. One onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right, we'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go, one, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute, where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute, these are halves. So, if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, you get one hole. One whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots, and so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> ooh, ooh, <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and Two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> that's not a potato, that's a donut, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this, not a potato. <laughs> Whoa. We did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore. Come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big. This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, in the tree, and a house above the tree. <laughs> whoa. 
This is such a cool treehouse. I think you and I should go up in it. Come on! Whoa, look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any treehouse. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs and it was 12. That was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places. And we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and anhingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey, do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, you're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty, <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa. I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, that is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa, hey, it looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh, yeah, and it says over here, don't pollute. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah, it's really good because Recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm going to see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa. That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I have a really fun idea. 
How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool! Look at this place! <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky! Ooh! <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove! <laughs> it was so much fun! And now, for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide! Okay, I think I'm ready! On your mark, get set, and go, Blippi! Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye! Woo! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the Sandy Shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at. Yeah, we're at Santa, which is in Seattle, Washington. And Santa stands for School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts. Yeah, have you ever been to a circus before? I love circuses, they are awesome. And today, you and I are gonna learn about some circus art. <laughs> Look at this place, it is so cool! And the floor that we're on is pretty bouncy! Whoa! Okay, the first thing I need to do is take off my shoes. All right, there we go. Let me put them right over here. And now, before we do anything with circus, we need to stretch. All right, oh, whoa! Yeah, it's really important to stretch so then our muscles are nice and loose so then we don't injure ourselves. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, woo. Oh, I stretched out my back, my legs, my arms. Oh, now that I'm all stretched, I think we should learn the rules of the circus. Whoa, check them out. The rules of circus. Yeah, number one, have fun. <laughs> pretty easy, we love to have fun. Number two, be safe. Yeah, safety is really important. We definitely don't want to get hurt, do we? No. Number three, work hard. Yeah, I love working hard because it's so fun to start at one point and get to another. And the only way you can improve is working hard. <laughs> and number four, be kind to each other. I love being kind. It's so cool that you are kind to your friends and family. Good job. All right, now it's time for some circus stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is awesome. Hey, check out what I'm on. Woohoo! Yeah! Do you know what this is? Whoa! Yeah, this is a trampoline. Check it out. The bouncy part? Yeah, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color black. Oh, and look at this. A safety pad, just in case if you go off the center and then you don't get hurt. What color is the safety pad? Yeah, it's the color red. <laughs> All right, let me jump. Woohoo! Can you think of an animal that can jump real high? Whoa! Yeah, how about one that carries its babies in a pouch? Yeah, yeah, kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing. Woohoo! What about one that loves to be in the swampy areas and it makes it sound like ribbit, ribbit? Woohoo! Yeah, frog. 
Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Jumping is so much fun! Whoa! Did you see that? That was awesome! <laughs> hey, Bleepy! Hey! How are you doing? Yeah, good! That was awesome! Thank you so much! What's your name? My name is Max! Oh, nice to meet you, Max! Do you know how to jump on the trampoline? I sure do! Will you show us? Yeah! Stay right here! Kneel right here and wait for me! Okay! Ready? are called aerial silks. Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, and I am in a green silk and Max is on a purple silk. Whoa, check it out. It's like I'm in a cocoon. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of an insect that hangs out in a cocoon? Oh! Yeah. They start as a normal insect, then they go in a cocoon, they go through metamorphosis, and then they turn into a butterfly! Yeah! I'm a caterpillar! Whoa! Look at Max! He's the butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This is a tight wire. Yeah! This is where you can practice your balance. Yeah! And balance is really important because, yeah, you might need it for things. If you don't have any balance, you'll just fall over. Whoa! You see what I'm using on my hands? Yeah, these are sticks. Just in case, if I need a little help, Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was silly. I just fell, let me try it again. Whoa, that's tricky. Wow, look at how good she is. Wow, she is so good. Hey, maybe now we can keep balancing on the balls. Wow, look at all these balls. Yeah, this is another great way to learn how to balance. Whoa, check it out. Look at this ball. <laughs> Whoa, whee. <laughs> yeah, I'm balancing on my stomach. Whoa, <laughs> that's hard. But hey, let's count all these balls. All right, one, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. Do you see how this ball's in a circle? Yeah! This actually will stabilize the ball. So then when I try and stand on it, then it won't move around so much. All right. Okay. Let's try this. Whoa. I am so excited. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, it's harder than it looks. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, if this stabilizer ring wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa, <laughs> okay, let's see someone good do it. <laughs> The 
This has been so much fun learning about all these things circus related. Whoa, check it out. Wow, looks like we have some really cool things like rings. Whoa, yeah, they're so colorful. Hello, hey. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some really light scarves. Wow, <laughs> and looks like we have this wood stick. Whoa, what is that for? And a plate? Yeah, a green plate. I know what to do with this. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe I could juggle. Wait, he's not juggling. He's balancing. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you see how I just spun it really fast? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on my fingertip. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> All right, get ready for this. I'm gonna put it on my forehead and see if I can balance it. Ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So silly. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. Yeah, remember the scarves? What color are these scarves? Yeah, this one is the color pink. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color yellow. And you know what I like to do when I have three items? Yeah, juggle. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! This is so cool! <laughs> yeah! I love juggling. Hey, speaking of juggling, maybe I could take these rings and juggle the rings. <laughs> First, what color are these rings? Yeah! A green circle, an orange circle, a red circle, a yellow circle, and a blue circle. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's take three of them. This is gonna be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Woo, how'd I do? <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, a giant circle. Whoa. Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah. This is a hula hoop. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, yeah, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, and watch this trick. When you spin it backwards, then it'll come back to you. Ready? Whoa. Ready? Max is riding a unicycle. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bicycle. Yeah, but bi means two. Yeah, two wheels and tires. But unicycle, una means one. Check it out. Whoa, all of these unicycles have one wheel and tire. Whoa, that one, this one, look at this. 
This frame is the color yellow. Whoa! Wow! Oh, look at how small this is! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> they are so hard to ride! Whoa! This one is so tall! Whoa! How do you even get up on this? <laughs> I don't even know! Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe I should find one that fits me. about this one? This one looks perfect. All right, let me try and ride this unicycle. Okay, do you see how I have these bars next to me? And so then I can hold on. And when I'm learning, I can learn this way. And it'll help me balance. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this without holding on to these bars. Yeah, unicycles are actually Harder to ride than bicycles, in my, my opinion. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, it's probably because on a bicycle, you don't have to balance forward and backward. You just have to balance side to side. But in unicycle, whoa, whoa. You have to balance forward and backward, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try it with no hands. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I almost fell! Let me try it again. Here I go! Whoa! Look at this place. This is the fly room. Whoa! And check it out. See all this? This is their trapeze setup. It is so cool. Trapeze is awesome. It's when people climb really high up in the air and then they swing while holding onto a bar. Sometimes they just fall down to the net and sometimes they grab onto other people. Hey, speaking of the net, check it out. Whoa! That looks like a really soft landing. <laughs> hey, come on! Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice to meet you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin does the trapeze here, and she is really good. Will you show us some trapeze? Definitely! <laughs> training with you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Whoa. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow! This has been so much fun! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> hey! It's me, Willoughby! And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California! <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah! It's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <sighs> I am so excited, come on. <laughs> Whoa, 
I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. Oh, and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> Whoa. Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding in the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can we sit inside? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah, so keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo. <laughs> we're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Special safari gear? Whoa! Safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> Look, we have binoculars for seeing really far away. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Do you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> Oh, they are giraffes, <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm, do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Whoa. Ooh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's going to keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa! <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Well, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah. They have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> it also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do. They hear very, very well. And eyesight's pretty amazing, too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they got to watch out. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh. <gasps> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello, giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. 
Hi! <laughs> Whoa! They also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals Maybe we'll find a platypus! <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari! Come look! Whoa! <laughs> look at him! What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa, and look. They have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow, Ooh, so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these oryx run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they <laughs> need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of oryx. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? You're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulpy. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh. Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wow. They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah. They're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? 
That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs, it helps with sunblock, like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah. They roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, they get dirt, dust on their back, kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey, do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal, and they can run up to 70 miles per hour. <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah. Let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. I'm so excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? This is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold. <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got the snack for that day. Woo! <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello? Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa. He keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa. But this snake is so cool. Hmm. Huh. What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh, yeah. yeah. Python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Well, that's a great question, but You know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have a really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this predator is a constrictor. So he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a, a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters. But we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. 
Wow. Hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> What's a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye! <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> We saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? You know, one of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow, I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh. oh, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa. Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow! I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So beautiful. Well, right now we want to wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal. <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> Get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Hmm. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? Oh, they see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. <laughs> well. We better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bumpy. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal. I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. OK, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. Whoa, that was amazing. Marco, what kind 
kind of animal was that? Uh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lander falcon, both found in Africa and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big. <laughs> come on. Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa! Her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm. Do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah. Just like the snake. Yeah. Look. Hmm. This little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime. Help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one we'll share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, uh, West African? Whoa, wait, can you see that one? <laughs> oh time? yeah, East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa. And what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers. So they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying. She's got feathers to keep her warm. She's even got feathers to attract the mate. But those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals. And she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department. And she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. No problem, Lippy. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Look at where we are. It feels like we're in the jungle. Woo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa! You see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Look. He's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. 
Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food. And back teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Boo. It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. <laughs> well, maybe he's not going to eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa, look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. Wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. <laughs> We're gonna find him, I just know it. <laughs> hey, look at who I have here. This is B, <laughs> and B is my friend. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Ruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet. And they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet. And a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> You want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah. And they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> hey, whoa, look at what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies, <laughs> they're kangaroos. <laughs> They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa, let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey, do you want a tasty treat?
sangria. Hey, isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. Oh, <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa, that's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa, they're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little Joey's hmm, baby kangaroos like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm. Has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa, and look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, he's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. We made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
me, Flippy. And today, we get to ride some really cool water slides. <laughs> yeah, at Not Soap City in Buena Park, California. <laughs> yeah. But before we can go on the water slides, we need to get all geared up. Let's put on our swimsuit. Whoa, <laughs> look, I'm in my swimsuit. Hmm, there's one thing we're forgetting. <laughs> sunscreen. We need to make sure we put on our sunscreen before we do any kind of swimming. <laughs> okay, here we go. You don't want to get a sunburn. <laughs> Whoa, get your hands and your legs. And I'm going to spray some on my hand. Put it on my face. <laughs> Now we're all ready to do some swimming and ride some water slides. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so silly. Whoa! Do you see this place? There are so many cool things here. Let's go check it out. Come on! There are so many things here, like a lazy river. Whoa, <laughs> hello, it's so lazy. <laughs> and a giant water slide. Hmm. Maybe we could do that. <gasps> or we could do this. <laughs> Whoa. What's back there? Hmm. Let's see if we can see. Do you see it? Look, there's a turtle with some fish. Hmm, maybe we could do that too. Whoa, but do you see this? It's a giant lighthouse, whoa! <laughs> it's so big, whoa! <laughs> yeah, lighthouses are so cool because they have really big and bright lights. Yeah, bright lights. And the lights help to tell fishermen and other boats where the shore is, so they don't have an accident on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Helps to keep all the boats really safe. <laughs> well, I think the lighthouse is pretty cool. Oh, what do you see that behind me? Yeah, that's the beach house. Ooh. <laughs> and the beach house has so many fun things to explore. Let's go check it out, come on. I'm so excited, come on. Whoa, but before we go up to the big slides on the beach house, we need to make sure that we're this tall. <laughs> Looks like we are. And we need to go barefoot, which means I can't wear my water shoes. Nope, <laughs> we'll take them off. One shoe, two shoes. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave them here and put them on later. <laughs> Whoa, look at it up here. There are so many water things and it's really loud. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. When you press this button, it puts water in this really cool bucket. And then when it fills, all the way to the top, <laughs> we can throw it out. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that's really fun. Don't get too splashed. Come on. Ooh, look at it up here. It's so pretty. And hey, look who it is. The lifeguard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Blippi. 
Lippy. What's your name? Hi, Lippy. I'm Ashley. Woo, hi, Ashley. Ashley is a lifeguard. Yeah, lifeguards are really important because they help keep you and I safe when we go swimming or if we're at a really fun water park. <laughs> hey, I bet Ashley knows how to keep us safe. Let's ask her. <laughs> hi, Ashley. How can we stay safe when we're here at the water park? I won't, Blippi. Ways you can stay safe include always wearing sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Okay. Making sure you have a parent's permission before you go anywhere near the water. And make sure there's a lifeguard on stand to help keep you safe as well. Ooh. And always make sure you wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. Oh, okay. Whoa, those are a lot of things. Well, first, we put on our sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, so you don't get a sunburn. And you always want to be with a grown up and make sure a lifeguard's on duty. Hmm, you should also wear a life jacket. You're swimming in a pool. <laughs> Another really good thing is learning how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I love swimming. It's so much fun. Well, now that we learned how to be safe, I think it's time to go down the really big slide, the beach house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready, Ashley. All righty, whenever you're ready, Blippi. Thanks, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Let's see if we can explore some more of the beach house. Come on! Woo! Look at this place! It's so cool! There are so many water guns and spouts. Let's go see what we can find. I must be home. <laughs> this is fun! Yay. Look over here! You see it? Look at all the slides! There's so many different colors! <laughs> I bet you and I would have a really fun time if we go over there to the colorful slides! Look! There's so many different types, like orange and blue! <laughs> Let's go! at all the slides. Hey, and check this out. Whoa, this is a tube. <laughs> and this is what we're gonna use to ride down some of these slides. <laughs> Hello, woo. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, this is a really big circle. Woo. <laughs> well, before we get in the tube, we need to decide what slide are we gonna go down? There are so many different kinds. Look at them all. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the water's going so fast and they're all different colors. Hmm, <laughs> what color slide do you see? Hmm. Yeah, look, I see a slide that's the color green. <laughs> Good job. Do you see any other colors? Hmm. Whoa, look over here. Yeah, there's a slide that's the color yellow. <laughs> hmm, you see any other colors? Yeah, I see a couple more colors too. My favorite color, the color blue. Well, this right here looks like a rainbow. There are so many different colors. Blue and green and red and orange. Whoa, <laughs> they all sound Really, really fun. Hmm. I wonder what slide we're gonna go down. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go sliding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go.
Hello! <laughs> Whoa! That, that was a really steep slide! <laughs> that was really fun! Let's go again! Woo! Whoa! That one was really tall! And really fast! <laughs> that was so much fun! I can't wait to ride some more! Yeah! Almost forgot my tooth! <laughs> that was so much fun! Whoa! That slide was really, really tall! That was the most fun and crazy and fast line I've ever been on. Well, whew. it looks like I'm all done with the slides here. I guess you and I get to explore some more fun things in the park. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Hey, look at this really cool place. There's so many fun water things here. <laughs> and look, it's a shipwreck. <gasps> Let's go see if there's some buried treasure. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at it. Do you see this? <laughs> it's a treasure chest. Ooh. <laughs> Should I open it up and see what's inside? <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this treasure chest. Whoa, it's buried treasure. It's all kinds of really cool gems <laughs> and Coins, Ooh, gold coins, Arr. <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Okay, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see if this treasure chest sink or floats? Okay, let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. This treasure chest, it floats. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't think this treasure chest would float. I thought it would sink because it's kind of heavy and it's filled with all kinds of gems and coins. Hey, treasure chest, treasure hunt. What if you and I went on a scavenger treasure hunt and we found all types of things and see if they sink or float? <gasps> that would be so much fun. Okay, I'll leave the treasure chest here for later. And let's go see what else we can discover. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! Whoa! Do you see any objects that we could use for sink or float? Hmm. <laughs> yeah! Good job! Really good eyes! I see a flip flop. It's kind of a pinkish red. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this flip flop sinks or floats. <laughs> oh, that's silly. It floats too. Hmm. We have a treasure chest and a flip flop. What else can we find? Hmm. Oh, look. It's a puffer fish. <laughs> puffer fishes are so cute. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Blippi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Well, do you sink or float? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> he floats too. Bye-bye! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Whoa! It's really shady now! <laughs> hmm! This is an umbrella! And it's red and white! It looks like a really tasty candy cane! <gasps> I love candy canes! <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa! It also floats. Ooh, let's see if we can find something that sinks. I bet we will. Whoa! This is a really scary shark. 
Just kidding. This shark is really friendly and cute. Hello. Hello, shark. <laughs> He's our friend. And look, on his back, he has this. Whoa, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like seaweed. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and it's the colors green, blue, and orange. <laughs> Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, look at it. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. We finally found something that sinks. Hmm, but we're not done yet. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Hello! He's wearing a hat, or a visor, so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. <laughs> hmm. You mind if I borrow your visor? <laughs> ah, thanks. Let's see if this sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think this red and white visor will sink or float? Let's find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The top part floats, but the bottom part is kind of heavy, so it sinks. Hmm, it's kind of suspended in the water. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, do you see all those animals over there? What kind of animals are those? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Look, there are two turtles. One turtle, two turtles, and there are two crabs. One crab, two crabs. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if maybe they're hiding something that we can use to sink or float. <laughs> This turtle has an inflatable hammock on its back. Whoa. And this crab has a teeny tiny shark. Hmm. Let's see if both of these green and white objects, yeah, they're both the color green and white. Let's see if they sink or float. Hmm. First, we'll do the hammock. Here we go. It floats, yeah. And now, our shark. Here we go, good luck. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, the shark swam all the way to the bottom and sunk. <laughs> now, let's see what else. Hello, <laughs> excuse me. Whoa, look at this. Hello. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is a life ring. And this helps you in case you need to float in the ocean. <laughs> Do you know what shape this life ring is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh, and it's the color orange and white. Ooh, okay, let's see if this sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> look, it floats, yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. Look at this turtle, it's so cool. Its shell is yellow, red, and really dark green. Ooh, <laughs> so many colors. And it has a little fish on its back. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> hello, fish. You think this fish will sink or float? Let's see. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> it sunk! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at what it is! It's a giant octopus on top of a yellow submarine! <laughs> Submarines are really cool vehicles that go under the water. <laughs> they sink, but sometimes the people driving the submarine need to get out, so it floats all the way to the top. 
submarines sink, but they also float. <laughs> Let's see if some other objects are hiding inside the submarine. <laughs> Oh, look at it! <laughs> oh, this one's kind of stuck. Whoa! Ooh! Do you know what these are? Yeah, these right here are pool noodles. <laughs> and they're my favorite colors. Orange and blue. <laughs> Do you think these pool noodles will sink or float? I guess we'll have to test it out. Okay. One. <laughs> they float! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what it is? It's a little red fish. Hello! Hello! <laughs> but then it's a ring. There's a big circle inside the fish. <laughs> He's so cute. I wonder if this fish, that's also a ring, will sink or float. And hey, look! It has some friends. We have one fish, two fish, three fish, and four fish. Okay, I'm gonna drop them all at the same time to see if they sink or float. Whoa, look at it. We have a yellow and red fish. Wait a minute, look, are they gonna sink? Are they gonna float? Whoa! That was so cool! The blue fish and the green fish, they sunk right away. But the yellow and red fish were floating. <laughs> but then they all sunk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I think we should go inside the yellow submarine and see if we can find anything else. <laughs> Look! It's a pail! A watering can! Or a watering pail. Yeah, if you have any plants and you want to keep them nice and healthy and strong, yeah, you just give them a little water. <laughs> Do you think this will sink or float? Okay, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it floats. But maybe if it fills up with water... Nope, <laughs> it still floats, even if it has some water in it. <laughs> Whoa, I think I forgot something. Do you see this over here? Well, let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> I think this will be really exciting and cool because it's so big. <laughs> okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. It's so big. Whoa, look at this. This ball is so big. <laughs> this is the biggest beach ball I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it will sink or float? Okay, let's find out! <laughs> Woo! It floats! <laughs> it floats! Bye-bye! Ah! <laughs> it's floating away. <laughs> that was so much fun finding out if all those things sink or float. Hmm, but there's still one thing we haven't tested to see if it sinks or floats. I'm so excited for this last thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sink or Sink float. Or float. One, one more time. time. So much fun! And hey, look! I float! Woo! <laughs> but that's because I know how to swim. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> that was so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! We've gone on so many fun slides today. Looks like we have time for one more. <laughs> Bonsai Falls! Bonsai Falls! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! Come on! <laughs> well, the slides we've been on before have had tubes and just sliding down just with ourselves. But Bonsai Falls has this really cool mat. Come on. Look at this. Yeah, 
I'm gonna hold on like this, and instead of going feet first, like all the other slides, I'm gonna go head first. Whoa, it's so topsy-turvy. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to go on the slide. Come on. Oh, hey, Ashley. Hi. Oh, she got here really fast. <laughs> Come on. the day with you here at this really fun water park was really fun too we learned so much we made sure we put on our sunscreen and we learned so much about safety from ashley the lifeguard <laughs> yeah and we went down really tall big slides Woo! <laughs> well that's the end of this episode but if you want to watch more of my episodes all you have to do is search for my name hey will you spell my name with me <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go! E-L-I P-P-I -I. Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! I'm gonna go down the slide again! Come on everyone! Let's make a learning fun! Pika! Pika! So much to learn about! It'll make you wanna shout! Mika! Mika.